Hey everyone, Daniel here. Today we're diving into one of the greatest comebacks in history. How Japan went from the rubble of World War II to being a tech and economic giant in just a few decades. It's like they found the world's biggest cheat code. Stick around for some wild facts. So, the year is 1945 and Japan's looking, well, let's just say not exactly Instagram worthy. The cities were destroyed, the economy was in tatters, and let's face it, things weren't looking great. It's like waking up after a big party and realizing your house is a mess, except, you know, way worse. You don't just need a broom, you need a whole new house. Now, after the war, the US steps in with the Marshall Plan and a bunch of other policies to help Japan rebuild. Fun fact, they weren't just helping out of kindness. This was during the Cold War, so it was like a game of Monopoly, but with countries. The US was playing Monopoly, global edition, and needed Japan on their side. The quicker Japan got back on its feet, the less likely they'd fall under Soviet influence. Call it strategic friendship. It's like loaning your neighbor money to fix their lawn so they don't let the other guy across the street take over their house. We're not besties, but hey, keep those weeds off my side. Then Japan's government went full on efficiency mode. They introduced land reforms, empowering farmers and making sure everyone could be more productive. Then they turbocharged their industrial sectors. Factories were up and running faster than you can say arigato. The country embraced something called kiretsu, huge networks of companies working together. Imagine if all your favorite fast food chains teamed up to deliver a super burger, except here. Instead of burgers, they're making cars, electronics, and, of course, more anime than you can binge watch in a lifetime. Japan was busy building, while the rest of the world was still scratching their heads over how to set the clock on their VCRs. Japan knew education was key, so they invested in schools like crazy. And with that came a wave of engineers, inventors, and business leaders ready to change the world. By the 1960s, they were cranking out electronics, cameras, and cars like there was no tomorrow. You know all those gadgets you can't live without today? Yeah? You can thank Japan for speeding that whole process up. Let's be real, Japan went from just surviving to here's a TV, Walkman, and a brand new Toyota faster than I can finish a Netflix series. Now here is where things really got interesting in the 1964 Tokyo Olympics. Japan was like, world, look at us now. It was a huge moment, showing they were back on the world stage. They even launched the Shinkansen, the bullet train, right before the Olympics. And that thing was fast. Imagine a train so fast that it makes your morning commute feel like you've unlocked warp speed in real life. That was 50 years ago. Just imagine. The world had not seen anything like this. It's like Japan went from, oops, we're running behind, to guess what? We've already crossed the finish line twice. Another secret to Japan's success, the country's insane work ethic. They took the idea of hard work and just, well, ran with it. Ever heard of Kiroshi? That's literally death by overwork. No joke. It's a thing. But on the flip side, this dedication meant massive productivity and innovations left and right. In Japan, they worked so hard that taking a break might just mean switching hands while typing. By the 1980s, Japan was a global powerhouse. The tech, cars and innovations kept coming. The world was kind of like, wow, we weren't even paying attention. And now you're winning? Japan showed that even after total devastation, with the right mix of strategy, education and a dash of workaholism, you can become a top player again. So how did Japan rebuild so fast? A little bit of help from the US, a lot of smarts and an insane level of determination. They bounce back faster than any of us can bounce out of bed in the morning. Moral of the story, never count Japan out. And hey, next time you're stuck in traffic or frustrated with tech, just remember, Japan's over here creating bullet trains and next level robots. Meanwhile, I'm still trying to figure out how to fold my fitted sheets. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this dive into Japan's epic comeback story, hit that like button, subscribe for more fun history. Catch you in the next